So we're tilling the ground. Till, till, till. That's what we're doing, just tilling the ground. I'm tilling the ground. Why? Why? To make a garden. You like gardens? I do too, but it's already too late in the year right now, as you can see the weather. Not the best, it's cooling down. We've got our tiller. Whoa. Not to be confused with artillery. We got our tiller right here. It's a great tool that gets the job done. So we just stick it in the ground, and then you twist it. But you got to put your foot here, stick it in the ground, and push it really hard. And then you got to really ah, twist your whole body with it. Put your weight into it. And we got Remy over here. He's going to join the excitement of tilling the ground. Now we've got our vegetables already sprouted, started growing a little bit. The growing is happening, but if we don't put them in the ground, they're not gonna make it. So this section right here used to be known as the chicken run, where all the chickens would be. Um, we decided to take it down because now they're absolutely free range chickens. They're going everywhere. They wanna go free range. So we don't need to contain them anymore. Nice one. What is that one gonna be for? If this one is called a ground tiller, what is this one called? Uh, you can use a fork. I honestly, it's a pick, a pick fork. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a pick fork. So in this case, we'll grab it, move, move the ground, break it apart. Ah. It is a fun one. We use this that for like the compost pile. That is like Grab moon the items, walking. Move them around. It's like moon walking. It's like moon walking. Oh, it feels so soft it's and slippery. It's like moon walking. Ah. That's really cool. Yeah, oh, this whole ground, we're tilling it. We're doing the ground till. It's pretty scary if you, if you think you saw a snake, you would be scared. I would be scared if I saw a snake, but I know that your sister Luna would come in, grab the snake by the tail, and go, <laughs> and she would kill it. No, I could kill it. I could go, I would bring it, I think, I'll kill you, snake. <gasps> Whoa, with a knife? Yep. Ah. And I would go right through, I would go right through his heart. I would cut his heart. Where's the snake's heart? I don't even know. If you don't know, how are you going to do it? Well, what if now, you know? The best thing to do is to stay away from the head. Yeah. The best way to do that is grab it by the tail. Yeah. You grab it and you whip it. Hey, the camera's going crazy. What you doing there? Oh my God, Remy. You're making us go all wild. Oh no! <laughs> Remy. Ah, oh, so you're gonna do some ground tilling? No, I'm just gonna step on it. Yep, that's the first part. Do the step on. Let's not twist it. What if I Yeah, step as, as heavy as you can. Okay. Boom. Yeah, it's a tough one, eh? So you Put your foot in there. What if I do this? That would slip. Okay. That's what that's why this part is flat. It's in. It's in. Now we just gotta be able to twist this like that. You can go clockwise or counterclockwise. Whichever way you choose. Let's do it together. Ready? Set. Go. Oh! It worked. It worked. It worked. We got this whole yard to till. Lots of work. Let's do that way now. Oh, uh, let's, we're almost done. We got from here to here. We're gonna finish this part off. Let me, <laughs> let me go right there where your foot is at. Now, the crazy thing is that there's the electrical cable going underground from that power plug all the way to the house. Yeah, that's so long. One time, your brother ended up grabbing a shovel and thought he found a dinosaur bone. And you know what he did? He started digging and digging and digging until he did one super dig like this. And you know what he did? He ended up chopping the electrical live wire cable right in half. Luckily, his hands were an inch away from the metal. 
the whole power in that house, pow, went off. He could have electrocuted himself. It was so bad that he ended up leaving a hole at the end of the shovel. I don't have it with me anymore. I had to get me a new shovel and I gave it to him as a present. So our 11 year old son has the, the shovel with the electrical hole burn at his other house as not only a memoir, but as a tool and maybe a, uh, uh, a place to remember, to never, uh, to always check your electrical wires before you dig. On that point, there's an electrical wire going somewhere here. We gotta check that. You know what I did? I ended up grabbing this little tube from the pool and I wrapped the cable around with this plastic tube. You know those tubes for, for the pool pumps? So I Dad, protected it, it and it, I know it's there. Dad, I'm twisting it. You're twisting it. It always helps when you twist when the ground is wet. So that tube is from here to here, but we have not protected the area from here to here. So this cable could be anywhere along the line. Oh my God. We could end up twisting the cable and then boom. Then again, we get electrically shot. Electri electrically, we get electrocuted. <laughs> here is Remy totally going at it. You got it, bro. Hey Rem. You want to show our tour of our garden and how it's going to be like to our friends? Come, let's check it out. So that's kind of like the idea. Here we got the little fireplace. Boop, boop. And here we got a little cookout spot. Boop, boop. Cookout spot, fireplace, trampoline. Four and a half year old Remy. Um, and we're There's going to be, there. there it is, Dad, from there all the way across there, that's going to be the garden. Now the tricky thing is, Dad, what wait if a you're second. cooking something in there and you accidentally make jump so high and you come flying and you fall on the fire? What if? What would happen if we did that? We're going to get burned. That's right. Or what if we're having a fire here? and flames just go all over and there's a strong gush of wind and it blows all the ambers onto the pool, onto the uh, trampoline and it makes a hole. What if? Would my children still jump in the, in the trampoline with a hole in it? No? That's not true, they jump in that all the time. In fact, they love the hole. They go in and out of the hole all the time and every time they do that, they rip it a little bit more and a little bit more. Whoa, that would be the greatest jump ever. Yep. That's what it would be. I would love to do it if I had a parachute so that when I make it back down, it would be a nice smooth fall. Or what if we had a, uh, a rope, a zip line going from this tree to that forest and we jump very high up to the zip line and we zip line all the way back down to that forest. And by the way, let me show you this cute little patootie. Hey, we got Silky. Hi, Silky. Silky, so cute. Hi, Dippy, Silky. Look at that, look at that cute little, cute little patootie. Who's that? Who's that? It's Who's a that? Woozy fancy. It's a woozy fancy. What are you woozy doing all the way up there? Dad. Oh no, we better call the, the, the fire tr department. Dad. Fire trucks Dad. need to come here and get Dad. the cat out of the tree. Dad. Fancy is horrified of the camera. She didn't like the camera too much, you're saying. She was horrified. So, the garden is right now put around the side here. We got this protector from the chickens. However, they can still jump up to here. That's what this little beam is for. We're gonna go ahead and put fish, uh, fish string from the beam to the beam and put something special called deer netting. Deer netting is the coolest thing ever for chicken coopers. Look what deer netting can do. It can protect the plastic inside, that way it doesn't go out. Um, it protects the, the chickens from coming out. Deer netting is very thin, so uh, it's not that expensive. It's like, I don't know, you can look it up. 
I'm not gonna advertise on this video right here, but I could advertise and tell you where to buy it, how much to buy it for, and how big it is. I will tell you that it's seven feet by 100 feet, and that is a lot of material for, for netting. Remy is freaking out about the cat over there. For netting, this entire thing, you see that beam in the middle? That's gonna be the center beam holding the net all the way down so that birds don't come in down in our garden and eat our vegetables. Remy's still freaking out about the, the cat. What's, what's he doing? You got my attention, Remy. What are we doing? No, she climbed higher. Oh, you got the cat to climb higher. Yep. We got here a newcomer, the cutie patootie. Hey, Luna, can you find your cat? <coughs> That's right, there's the cat up there. <coughs> Give yeah. me total right Total now. distractions. Huh? Anyway, back to tilling the garden. So just to recap, we're gonna put deer netting across between this beam and over to the top to that middle one to create kind of like a tent out of deer netting to keep the birds from flying in. We got the chicken wire going across to keep them from going in and out. I, oh, he wants to show us, do it again. He's gonna show us. Boom, nice jump. Guess what? We went to the dump because sometimes we have a little dump feeling where we go and people throw away things that could be valuable. This right here is a door net, like one of those screen doors, screen doors. Somebody threw away the door and the screen door. And we thought, gosh, we need a door inside of our garden because right, I mean, we need to keep it locked out. Otherwise the chickens are gonna go in there and tear it up. And so we grabbed it, we grabbed the two beams and with all the tools, you know, all the netting, uh, fishing netting, That's metal right wiring. Here. We just kind of put it together and here we go. Our door beam. We grabbed somebody else was throwing away a, a tarp, a giant tarp, and it had these little pieces. So this door... Oh my God, the guineas are flipping out. What's going on? I know what's going on. I know what's going on. They probably laid guinea eggs. Remy, could you help us find some guinea eggs? It could be somewhere around here. Anything? No guinea eggs. What are they making a rackets for? They always sing their guinea eggs. Uh -uh songs when they <laughs> oh my god they sound like squeaky doors no guinea eggs this time as i was explaining the the screen door was so flimsy we ended up using somebody else's throw away trash of of a tarp we put it together zip ties drilled holes in it to just kind of give it more well, it more more strength, more make it more firm. I can't say it's perfect, but does it do the job? That's what I'm hoping for. I'm, I'm really trying not to spend any money on this garden. Just use what use what you got. Recycle, and that means that a lot of people are throwing things away that you could reuse. That way, it doesn't end up in the dump. It ends up being useful, and it does the job. Look at all these netting. Somebody was throwing this away. This is obviously going to be the netting for the vegetable. You go ahead and wrap them around, help them grow. I'm not the garden expert. You are. That's probably why you're watching this video. But if you got any suggestions on how to make this better, somebody once said use tires. But the problem with, with tires is that I would have to paint it because the black attracts the flies. Tire, uh, flies love black hot surfaces. And so that tire would end up being precisely that, a hot black surface. So I would have to paint it 
but they would work great as as uh, flower beds, right? Any other ideas? I just honestly don't want to buy anything. I want to use what we already have accessible here in the world that's available, that's free, that people think it's trash, turn it into a treasure and make it happen. So hopefully we can get this garden going in no time. Look, he's working the door. Now I do need to clear out some of the grass at the bottom. That way it does not, um, that way it does not like grow really tall and make that door difficult. What happened? What happened, bud? You can't close there. Okay. Hey, look how much well, we kind of closed. Look how much oh, and look at here. Here's the crazy. It's dumb. It's dumb. It it might like I I don't recommend it. But you can grab like a shower curtain thing, grab that, wrap it around, and boom, Dad, look. it holds it together. Look how much so at we least have. the chickens won't be able to naturally pull it. If we do a few of those, we'll try to find the reinforcement so that the kids don't open it when we're not looking and let the chickens inside the garden. That would be a problem. Three pieces, all good netting. Looks like we're ready to go. We should keep on tilling the ground. What do you say? Yeah. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned.